the person that is claiming that she's looking for justice, the lawyer and the lawyer to uh, to the north are coming in the same car. Could it be it's the same person that is funding them? Now again, we're able to establish or to get to know also that Iyamobad has collected our own lawyer. Chekotan, when we were telling all of you that you wanted to place costs on us because the way we refuted and we stand that there is nothing good that will come out in a woman that abandoned his son for 15 years. And when he was asked, no, 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 no. no. And when he was asked, when she was asked to bring a clothes so that they could make a prayer, she was so happy that she gave the wrong clothes. And again, the last time she came to visit the inquest, after a long while, she, wa she came to cry that she wanted to go and bury... She wanted to go and bury Mobad. And we were saying that we've seen all these indices, for us is a red flag. But you people went ahead, you say, ah, this, ah, you started calling us names. You started insulting our platform. But look at you today. We are glad to announce to you that Ia Mobad's lawyer was introduced to the court. Now what is Ia Mobad defending? May God have mercy on us. I will allow my panelists uh, to um, continue um, um, TikToking what we've heard so far. Uh, Grace's phone is not available at the moment. Once it's back, um, we will it will come back on board, and um, we we'll continue talking on this. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, Barista Lady, over to you, please. Yeah, again, um, thank you so much, um, be your Daddy. Thank you, Justice Fighters. Justice Sharp Preview. Um, let's remain vigilant. Um, do you say something? Uh, when he started um, his conversation, he said, if you know you do not have that strength, the mental state, it is time to disembark on this justice. It's going to be a long ride, and um, it's sad um, the kind of country we live uh, where um, they're obstructing justice in our very own eyes. Um, thank God again. Big, big shout out to ordinary president um, Ahmed Issa uh, for making that call to the Commissioner of Police, Commissioner of um, Information, Lagos. All right, they all right, please, in whatever you want to say, kindly add this that this uh, uh, specimen yep. was handed, according to the pathologist, was handed over to the IPO. Exactly. The IPO has been summoned to come to inquest, and the IPO has been dodging. This is the same IPO that claims that the Ope Makenje, the prime of Igumu Mobado, the same IPO was given it was handed over that specimen. Could it be? Could it be that the legal team needs to do a forensic account investigation of this IPO? Hundred percent. Let us know how much has gone into all his accounts when he started, when he was appointed to be in charge of this case till date. Continue, my brother. Exactly, sir. Um, it, it is very important. You know, we've been calling on the IPO. Uh, we, we are facing substance. We are facing the, um, the real issues rather than um, talking about frivolities. Um, it is clear um, that we did a wonderful job again um, by going to NMS to challenge the Lagos State Government that the toxicology and autopsy result was fake. Again, he... Lagos State Government, they've been exposed once again. Um, again, I, that's why I was asking the Himoli what's the name of the 
um, as she's claimed, um, pathologist lawyer. I want to believe he is the Lagos Council, um, State Council, and um, by Mr. Kennedy, who in November told the coroner um, that the body or the specimen had been sent abroad. That was in November. It's on the famous newspaper for fact check. I'm going to do that fact check later when I drop, so I'm going to confirm when exactly he said that. He said it in November that they've sent the specimen abroad for toxicology in November, December, but it's like they, in April. But it's like in April, in April, uh, Somia Richard, Somia, the director Richard, Somia, of forensics Richard. and DNA yeah. center in Lagos, said that the sample is coming from United States. Yep. It's coming exactly. from yeah. United States. Nah. So those are the government officials. Those are people. These, those are the people that empower. These are the institution. Babadu Baba, 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 have been fighting since the day Mubarak died. The same people that in the institution, the same institution that gave ASP Mohammed Yusuf a lion budget, a lion budget. Toko, toko the kusi. That that is saying that the government is with him. The same ASP Mohammed Yusuf that is treating women's petition. That treated women's petition. The same person that in, came to tell us profuse bleeding. The same person that they have been requesting to come to Panty, to Zone 2, to come and defend petition against Prime Board. That is Ronnie Alta Skelter. This man, yesterday was the one year exactly inquest started. Inquest started September 29, 2020, 2023. Yes, they made it one year exactly. This Good man job. has been, they have been looking for this man since that day. To come to the inquest is the running out of skater, and some people would be in one angle shouting, Papa does not want justice. Now, 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 Bancoli and Smith don't do the most. Bancoli and Smith don't do the most. They have an alternative to fight <coughs> their cause, but they decide <coughs> to join the system. They decide to join the system. <clears throat> Guys, yep. Bayo, are you still talking? Okay. No, Bayo is not talking again. I, I want, I want Bayo, Bayo to calm down. I know he's angry. Barista, like, please continue when you finish. Let's follow the order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's follow the other. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, my brother. And they feel you too. <laughs> um, yeah, when did I stop? It came. Uh, I, I'm just trying to expose um, the Lagos um, Council, who was definitely defending the pathologist today, when he said, and I quote, um, that the body, um, the specimen had been sent abroad. Again, December, January, February, March, April. February, they were contacted and they said it would take up 10 weeks before we can get the result. That means the body, the specimen was not sent abroad. It was not sent abroad. Thank God, Papa went to Brekete for them to have made a call to the Lagos State Commission of, um, Commission of Information. Um, and again, um i'm so happy i'm he's not i'm not happy i'm not happy like i'm not happy what happened today but i'm not happy that we'll be able to expose the legal state government that they did nothing regarding uh um, mobile's uh, body and again we are hoping on our own autopsy and toxicology to come because again by star sheet to SCN always always in his in, in his past four interviews after the inquest he always said why would the result come inconclusive when you are saying you established that there was a fight, there was an injury, could that injury lead to a death? He has been asking those questions with our topic because he know clearly he has read the NMS report or the toxicology report and autopsy. He knew that there is something fishy here. It is fishy. And he said, she be a carry, she be can read. Read it very well. You will know that something is missing. And he's not doing thorough, um, thorough um, um, investigation or forensic um, analysis on mobile specimen, and that's why we are here. Um, we are going to challenge this thing um, again. We are going to challenge the pathologies, definitely. Um, I, I won't say anything further than that, but definitely the parish is going to hear um, from Baba's um, indication. Definitely, that one is that one, that one is sacrosanct, um, negligence, and again, giving out to IPU again. The IPU needs to come for two things. One, for having said for having said that he has a dagger that he used that primary used on mobile and again for handling mobile specimen 
sample. It should not be. It should not be handling it. I see no reason why this is nonsense happening in our country, and this is why we must join hands together to come up and go to the inspector general of police, Kyle Dick Betukun, and tell him IPO Mame must be sacked. One, he must be. He, he, he must. He must come to the inquest. It's a must. And again, he must come defend the nonsense he has done since September to this very moment. It is clear that he's working for someone, and we do not know who he's working for. Again, a proper forensic, um, uh, and forensic, yeah, as you said, in his account, it must be done as well, uh, because again, he has compromised, and then uh, the money is being paid, uh, his taxpayers' money, and not doing his, his job as a police, uh, as, as, a, as a white police should do. I will give others to talk. Uh, we still have more things to say, definitely, today. Um, sit down and relax. Uh, though I know, as Bugatti said, um, you can take a break. Uh, it's not easy, but again, we will fight on who continue to challenge and the Lagos State government. We are not fighting them. Thank you to those that went to the protest today at um, Alausa. They may be the majority leader, not him, um, Adams, and he, he told them he was happy how um, they displayed um, the protest. It was calm, and that's what we are going to do again in subsequent protest, um, probably in Abuja, definitely. That should be the next the next line of action because it seems Lagos State government have compromised and we need to hit Abuja again. Thank you so much, Ayana Biyok Daddy and everyone. Thank you so much, Naimoli. Thank you to MPP, MP, Gouessi, Rich Grace, everyone on board, everyone on ground today. We appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Barry Salade. Let me quickly go to you, Baba Gunga. This is you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. Honorable York Daddy, thank you for this opportunity. May I use this uh, avenue to say thank you to Mommy Rich Grace, to Mpepe Rempe, Lady Nemoli, and Mr. Gregzi for representing us well today. We say thank you to all the protesters who went out to the Secretariat, uh, the Governor's Office. We say thank you to you all. Thank you for standing strong. I am very happy today because we were able to expose, excuse me, we were able to expose the Lagos State Government. Number one, uh, a big shout out to ordinary president, Amedisa of Berekete radio station. We say thank you very much for taking that bold step when you actually did. It is uh, it is worrying to hear today that Bobat specimen was lying there four months, for good four months, not until Ahmed Issa put a phone a phone call to the Commissioner for Information before this was acted upon. It is sad that uh, this particular group of individuals continue to disrespect the Nigerian citizens despite the, the oath of office, despite the constitution of the, Niger of, uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, promising to protect life and properties. You have refused to protect just one life, talk less of how many millions of lives that are in your care. You held this statement, uh, this specimen, you, you allowed it to rot, it, not until it got rotting, before you took it up. And you were not even sober, you did not make any, any amendment by changing or going to get another specimen for this purpose. Rather, you proceeded with the same specimen which you have kept for four months. Please, can I just ask, what if Ahmed Issa hasn't said anything? What if Baba has, ha, hasn't, been, hasn't gone to Berkete? So would have just continued to be here and continue to scream at the top of our voice and you just look at us like people who, 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 who's got no job. Why, why are you treating us like this? We voted you into office. I want to beg Nigerians something. You, you have a very strong power. Vote these people out. There is power in numbers. It's not just a few people going out to vote. You need to come out the next time. And my We don't need to go that far. So that's just it. On that. Arifa, be careful. All right. Uh, Lakpe, Lakpe, 
Thank you so very much. I will be, and I'm trying as much as possible to be. Well, I am not attacked. Send me their account, Arifa, quickly. Okay, I don't have their account, but I think I can only call them to send the account to me. Let me try and reach out. If they're going to send the account to me. So, let me try and reach out if they're going to send the account to me. Okay. Your daddy said earlier, only truth is constant. And when you lie, you need another lie to cover up your lies and cover up your lies and cover up your lies. It is a shame. And this is the reason why from what Sanchito have been able to 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 cross how he has been able to cross examine this pathologist um uh, this this report from the current the current pathologist who came today that is to say the that report was forged it's a forged report that is not mobile it's not mobile specimen and if it was it it was rotten already and to come to say that NMS, uh, there's no NMS stamp on it. I beg your pardon? And you have the audacity to come and defend it. It's a big slap on his profession. A very, very big slap. People like that should be reported, honestly speaking, because he has failed. He's failed, he's failed in all spheres. How, how do we move on from here? I I I don't want to go the route of this uh, Smith and uh, uh, Barclay or whatever. I see those people as saboteurs, honestly speaking, because I wonder what their desperation is or what their interest is that you must hold today's uh, inquest. Why? Why didn't they hold on? That he came in briefly, did all the vavavu he wanted to do, went back just to stop people, just to stop this hearing, even with all the effort people made to get all this, these people to come. It is sad, and these same people will say they want justice, they want justice. You know why? It worries me when we, when we think it's Baba that needs to be bashed and his legal team, it is sad. We don't, we do not think well. We are so myopic in our thinking, very shallow, shallow-minded individuals. That is what we are. And this carcassing of a thing are so blindfolded us that we don't even know when to speak the truth and how to stand up for the truth. I thank God that I've remained firm from the one and I'll continue to support this man because he's on the right path and he's doing the right thing. And I'll stand up against whoever group or clique that is trying to pull him down. It is sad. It is very worrying. Some of you, you wanted, you wanted the Yam Mubad. Can you hear now that Yam Mubad got a lawyer? What does she need a lawyer for? I don't understand. Why did she, why did she contract a lawyer to defend, to defend her on what? And this is the defend same her on the lie she made on Pine Boy now. You know, she said, just don't call her <laughs> I don't know what I want to come and defend her on the nonsense she said. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what we, we, why we think uh, this woman is here for good. I don't understand why we continue to wonder that until she, she speaks to Baba Mora. I say thank you to every man and woman, every young and old who stood firm and stood their ground. I said no to Yamo, but because she's a biag, but she's not a biamo. She's just coming to reap where she did not sow. She's here for the royalty. She's not here to fight for the justice or to fight or to know what actually quiet her son. And shame on all of you who is pushing her forward and trying to think that, yes, she's here for good. She's not here for any good. We need to have the, a discerning spirit and be able to calculate her thoughts and, and thinking. 
we shouldn't give up to people who who are very very emotional please there are some platform that when they drop informations the informations are not even valid they're unverified they don't the information doesn't even make sense they just begin to cut and nail and join i have heard a lot of people crying the whole what are you crying for the days of crying are over we are just starting this is the action time where truth must be told and it doesn't matter who's ox is god it doesn't matter who, who is going to get bruised just stand for the truth be fair in your judgment and enough of bashing that man that man that is single hand, handedly standing alone standing alone from the one that this man gave back to this young boy that, that that the world did not allow him to enjoy his life how can how can a nurse who, who a prime suspect the lawyer of a prime suspect coming to court with the lawyer of uh and of, of 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 cynthia i don't i don't understand it's hard to put together conspiracies here and there we need to really think straight and begin to, we should continue we shouldn't get tired or be quiet please and please i beg every each and every one of us let's search our conscience and know the reason why we are here why we are in this justice we pray that the almighty god will continue to expose them and i am looking forward to the next corona inquest Sashitu have done us proud today i i never had any reservation about him i've always known that he's a very very solid son who knows how to go about his things and he's just done well today. To the pathologist, I say shame on you for disgracing yourself and your entire family by defending what you act, you don't know nothing about. They just gave you forgery report to come and defend. It is sad. It is sad. May Nigeria not happen to any one of us again. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, yeah, yeah, Baba Gumwa. Thank you for that um, beautiful submission. Oh, Eba Mishawani, you're one now. Oh, your daddy. Okay. Okay, it's a bit of a mixed feeling for myself. Um, yeah, I'm happy on one side. And on the other side, I'm partially sad because the corona inquest was altered today i would have loved to hear what um see why i've got to say okay concerning you know everything that she had said previously whether she would come there to um to then change her statement i don't know well uh we were all looking forward to that at least she came you know she honored the um invite and then um yeah she she is actually present i want to say uh, a big thank you to all the soldiers on ground today i appreciate you all and um yeah um regarding the pathologist shame on you shame on nigerian government shame on nigeria as a whole because this is highly highly ridiculous and um i wasn't expecting this at all they lied to us they lied to us for months okay they toyed on our emotions our sleepless nights our struggles our pains our cries they lied on um they lied to us you know um the whole thing was it actually started like a joke no one would ever believe that a pathologist will have the audacity to come and lie you know um to defend this um profession you know what if um you know uh baba has actually accepted that result that it was inconclusive and that's it that's the end of it what would have become of all the justice uh, justice seekers what would have become of all of us but i am glad that uh we all stood our ground that no this is unacceptable and we rejected that result it's it's a shame on them to come and you know like um you know like um at the end of the day today the the lies is actually right in their face and they they had no hiding place than to just hold up to their lies 
I was just thinking like, what would have happened? Like, what would, so um, this guy would have been buried with her because that would have been case closed. Nothing's going to the high courts, right? If we had accepted the autopsy results, then that would be it. Case closed. We won't even be here now talking about justice for Mobad, right? But I'm just happy and glad that we have professionals, you know, in this uh, movement. We have people that knows that no, this is not right. And they stood their ground, right? So, yeah, it, it's, it's such a shame and it's embarrassing. I just feel like they could be explo uh, um, exposed, like, globally. Like, all of this expose, like, it goes viral. Like, it goes all over the internet. Like, international body get to hear about this. Look at how um, Nigeria is actually rolling in the mud. It's such a shame, right? So regarding um uh what's this girl's name? Um see why like um see why you claim somebody killed your husband like by injecting your husband, which actually led to his sudden death. And you're now rolling with the prime suspect, like your solicitor is actually um seen um with the prime suspect's uh um solicitor. Is, is, isn't that isn't that a joke? Like joke of the year.